Uh, my name is Tinker Hadfield. I've been working on Air Jordan products for a long time. I'm uh, Mark Smith, and I'm uh, the creative director of Jordan Brand, and I've been working with Tinker for many, many years. So, uh, we'll start on the Air Jordan 2010. Uh, on the inside, the way it was built and designed was uh, with the uh, foot uh, in mind, bottom first, uh, ortholite foam, and uh, time and effort in the shaping of it to the last and to your foot, and it will always hint in every colorway to uh, Michael Soul in Carolina with this little Carolina pop in the medial side of the, of the shoe itself. So, you know, again, it's been a great, uh, great luxury to look at a shoe and design from the inside out. That's the way a performance product is always done, whether it's for a great basketball player or for an Olympian um, who's going to run the 100 meters in track and field. So we did the same thing here where uh, the inside of this shoe actually has, uh, you know, s certain characteristics that actually help it fit better. And then there are some, uh, some specially molded foam parts that lock your heel down, but they're soft and they fit all the contours of your foot. And I think that's really important to, to realize that when you, uh, you know, the modern athletes today, they don't want any break in time. And uh, so these shoes have to be comfortable right out of the box, off to the courts, play hard, um, no blisters, what have you. So, uh, so it's really important to realize that we spend a lot of time trying to eliminate interior seams, uh, take uh, some time to form the, the shapes so that they actually uh, hold your foot in place and do it in a comfortable manner. So that's right, right there, right inside. Lightweight, breathable tongue, very simple, uh, back to basics. Forefoot is uh, independent from uh, the rest of the shoe. Has a uh, movable, simple unit that works independently from the rest of the shoe for structure and stability. Keeps the clean toe look from the look down. Uh, six row stitch to help hold this piece together yet independently from the, floor, from the rest of the shoe itself. Let's talk a little bit about this collar line. Uh, I think Jordans so, over time have been known for unique collar lines. Uh, it was the first shoe ever to be a, uh, what we call a mid cut or a three quarter cut for a basketball shoe. And that was way back in the day. And then we, we got into asymmetry, which, uh, which actually mirrors the shape of your ankle. Um, on the medial side, your malleolus is higher. On the lateral side, your malleolus is a little lower. So. Uh, we're trying to reflect that in the ergonomic shape of this shoe. So you can see that uh, medial side is higher, lateral side is lower. That actually fits the actual shape of your ankle better than a normal shoe. Um, we also took in stability oriented uh, design elements here on the, both the medial and lateral and the forefoot uh, with the clear TPU. Um, uh, just where you need it, again in the heel, the same thing where you've got uh, just, just enough, not all the way around, but just where you really need it for that lateral and medial side stability in the heel. Let's, uh, let's talk a little, little bit about this uh, thermoplastic window in the side. Um, it really is actually um, a metaphor for looking into the, the looking through um, someone's sort of exterior and into their soul, trying to understand how they're gonna play the game. Um, but uh, in Michael's case, uh, he also likes to let other people like look in and see a little portion of what he's up to, but never enough to give them a competitive advantage. In fact, he uses this uh, whole idea to uh, help him uh, play better later in the game when guys think he's going to do one thing and then he does something completely different. So this window is a metaphor to uh, sort of uh, to help uh, describe his philosophy in playing basketball. But uh, more than that, uh, it's, uh, it's also a, a thermoplastic material that actually forms really well and helps maintain the shape of the shoe when it's heated and formed and then, uh, and then pulled out and it cools down, it, it maintains its shape. So this shoe has a beautiful shape on the medial side to sort of mirror the shape of your foot and on the lateral side as well. So uh, we think that that's actually uh, not only a visual, like sort of iconic metaphor, but it's also uh, performance design uh, with new materials. Um, we have a midsole that's a phylon, lightweight phylon. Um, we actually carved out areas where you didn't need the, the, the bulk or the, the weight and uh, contoured it for the best performance 
and uh, we also incorporated some texture uh, that actually is a message of Michael's, uh, one of his famous quotes, and uh, incorporated into uh, kind of those wrinkle zones where uh, Phylon tends to wrinkle, so it becomes a performance graphic that tells a, tells a story. Uh, it's a little deeper meaning into the story of, uh, of Michael Jordan, the way he approached his game. Then uh, one, of the, one of the sort of unseen you know, I think important components of uh, the performance of the shoe is that underneath this outsole is a full-length air zoom bag that uh, is bottom loaded which means it's it's just right behind the outsole instead of loaded up toward closer to your foot it's loaded at the bottom which we think actually is a is a is a great way to sort of attenuate shock it shock uh, from the floor to sort of basically disperse before it even gets close to your foot and it's an idea that we borrowed from some, um, some very good running shoes that we've worked on in the past. And it's never been done in a basketball shoe before. Um, from a considered perspective, uh, we utilize materials and processes, uh, fewer glues, uh, less stitching, less energy. Um, we actually uh, ended up, the patterns on these uh, um, created less waste. Um, f uh, f fewer components that are going to be thrown away and what was able to be reused such as the uh, TPU goes back into the stream uh, so we really did uh, end up utilizing the process of uh, considered um, production as much as possible and improved that again uh, every time we just do uh, what we can to do that we reuse the uh, the circle that we cut out of the uh, material around here actually went into the uh, the uh, the lace tie uh, that was a nice little use of, of the uh, the waste from uh, created from within the shoe and always looking for way, ways to improve our uh, considered aspect of, of production shoe, shoe building. Then lastly, on the outsole, you'll notice that there's an asymmetrical heel wrap of the rubber right here. Uh, that's purposeful in that uh, you need a little bit of rubber wrapping up just to just to help the shoe be more durable. Uh, but we kept it away from this lateral crash pad so that when you land, if you land in your heels, this shoe will compress a little bit in the, on the lateral side. Uh, so we didn't want to wrap too much rubber over there to actually uh, inhibit that, uh, that ability for the shoe to let you down sort of easy. So, uh, so that's why it's asymmetrical and we also just like the way it looks because the rest of the shoe has an asymmetry that we find to be beautiful and purposeful. And the amount of rubber has actually uh, been reduced quite a bit. Uh, the thicknesses are just where they need to be. It's 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 not over designed. There's not a lot of extra stuff on here. In fact, most of if you if you look at the product itself overall, we've basically gone through and reduced the uh, the amount of stuff on the shoe down to just the pieces uh, that are needed and the parts that are needed for functional aspects of the product. So.